Good day, friends. Florida Explorer here with y'all again today for another exciting adventure. But today, before we get into the video, I want to talk with you guys about something real quick that's kind of bothered me. What I've been seeing here recently is that a lot of these other Explorers channels are having two or three, sometimes more, um, commercials on their videos. Well, friends, I will guarantee you this right now, and I will promise you this. YouTube will never monetize this channel, and I will never ask for your money, nor will I delay you 30 seconds to two minutes making you watch some crummy advertisement before we get down to the facts and explore history. So, on that note, this morning we are at the Maystringer House in Brooksville, Florida, and we're here to check out some old headstones from the Bayport Cemetery. Let's go check it out. Well, first, let's walk along the front of the uh, Maystringer house real quick. Unfortunately, they're not open yet this morning, so we can't go in. I was here yesterday and spoke with uh, the nice lady that was inside here working. There's a lot of cool stuff inside here. One thing also I would like to mention is that the uh, Maystringer house, the um, one-room schoolhouse, and the train depot are always looking for volunteers. So if any of y'all have any extra time in y'all's schedule, come on down and talk to them. They're always looking for people that can lend a helping hand. capsules they've got here. <sighs> All right, well here they are. So now originally these tombstones here we're at the Bayport Cemetery, uh, which is in the Wikiwachi area. So the story with how these wound up here is that someone had gone and stolen them from the Bayport Cemetery and then taking them to a local pawn shop here in the area. And then once the county, once Hernando County found out about it, uh, they told the pawn shop that they had to give them back. Well, there was a little over a year's worth of legal battle back and forth between the pawn shop owner and Hernando County. But eventually, uh, the judge ordered that the pawn shop owner return these to the county. And since they did not know where in the Bayport Cemetery their bodies were, they decided to bring them here to the Maystringer House as a memorial. Now yesterday, I was out um, in South Hernando County talking to uh, an old timer that owns a hardware store in Marseilleic Town, uh, the second oldest hardware store in the county. And he was telling me about a time that his class took a trip out to the Bayport Cemetery um, and while they were out there one of the kids found this gigantic marble ball that was on top of one of the headstones and decided that he wanted it so he decided to bring it back to the bus well the teacher saw it and told him to go put it back and what's funny well it's not funny but it just seems as a coincidence that there's definitely something missing 
off of the top of this one. And it looks like this guy was a reverend. So I could definitely see a marble ball sitting on top of that. So I wouldn't doubt it if the pawn shop owner still has that thing. So I'm going to take it upon myself to find out what pawn shop that was. Because if this guy still has that marble ball, it needs to be given back as well. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show this video to the old timer there at the hardware store and see if he remembers if this is the marker that the marble ball was on. But what I have decided to do, friends, is I was able to uh, get the location for the Bayport Cemetery from that old timer yesterday. Um, but right now, it is alligator mating season. So the Florida Explorer doesn't want to be gobbled up by an alligator. So I'm gonna wait until after alligator mating season is, season is over. And then uh, we will go out to the actual Bayport Cemetery um, to do some cleaning. Because pretty much history doesn't even acknowledge the existence of the Bayport Cemetery. There's no plot records, there's nothing. So, try to do some diligent research for y'all and cover that. So that will be up and coming. All right, friends, we're gonna go ahead and walk around the back here of the Maystringer house. Paint truck. All right, friends. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this adventure and this little tad bit of history about the Bayport Cemetery. This is the Florida Explorer signing off. Y'all have a blessed day today.